Peter Bow. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm grateful for the Honourable Gentleman's <coughs> response. Uh, this week, the former Speaker of the House of Commons got his comeuppance for being mean and unfair to a number of people by bullying them by using his uh, uh, power. The Electoral Commission also um, were mean and unfair to a number of people by using their power uh, to, uh, to bully them. Mr Speaker, you have changed the position of the Speaker. It is widely regarded across this House that you are fair and impartial. I wonder if the Honourable Gentleman believes that the new Chairman of the Electoral Commission can get the same widespread support for impartiality and fairness to the Electoral Commission. Christian Matheson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I only like to thank the Honourable Gentleman for his question. He is um, a regular attender and participant in, the, in these, in these uh, question times. Um, I was part of the panel um, that appointed the current chair. Uh, his, his, appo his appointment was endorsed unanimously by the whole Speaker's, commi uh, speakers Committee uh, on the Electoral Commission. And there is confidence in him that he understands the challenges that the Honourable Gentleman and others have laid down to the Commission to meet. The Commission will also have a new Chief Executive um, coming up soon. And I'm a little bit concerned that the uh, Honourable Gentleman doesn't look at the Speaker's Commission a bit like Trigger looks at his broom in Only Fools and Horses. It's got a new Chair, it's got a new Chief Executive, it's got largely completely new Commissioners. They're all understanding the challenges that are laid down, and I hope that they will rise to them. <laughs>